Okay. Uh, anyways. Oh. If you're a bard, why are you dressed up like a... Yay! Nice! Nice one. But you're not a bard, sir. You are... Uh, just a jester or a mime or something. Okay. Nice taps, too, by the way. Some <laughs> oh, what if I suspect that's more than just idle conversation? Like they have uh, something sinister plotted. Looking to enlist with the temple guard. Priscilla, greetings, my lady. Think I know how to free Dandelion. Got a plan, but we need Dudu. Gotta find him. This plan? What is it? Our Doppler friend will assume Menga's form. Order Dandelion move to Oxenfurt. We can grab him on the way. Brilliant. But how do you aim to find Dudu? You're his friend. Any idea where he might be hiding? With the Doppler, the question's never where, but as whom? In the past, facing trouble, he'd disappear, then reappear on the morrow with someone else. But this time... This time he hasn't returned. Yeah. I want to know how long she's known Dudu. Known Dudu long? I know this might sound strange, but I can't be sure. It seems he'd been circling me for some time in various forms, trying to attract my attention. Can't blame him for making the effort. Mm. Thank you. I failed to notice him at first. Then he decided to shoot the moon, assume Dandelion's form. What tipped you off? How do you know it wasn't Dandelion? You do not much of a singer. No. He simply spoke about something other than himself. Some of this stuff to talk about is whew, kind of going over my head, actually. I... Oh, she's talking about shooting the moon? What? What, what does that mean? Oh. Known Dudu long. I know this might sound strange, but I can't be sure. It seems he'd been circling me for some time in various forms, trying to attract my attention. Can't blame him for making the effort. Thank you. I failed to notice him at first. Then he decided he to shoot the moon, assumed Dandelion's form. Then he decided what to shoot the moon. Off? How do you know it wasn't Dandelion? Dudu not I, much of a singer. What tipped you off? No. He simply spoke about something other than himself. Hmm. Okay, well, in any case... We need to convince Dudu to reveal himself. Any friends we could leave a message with, someone he trusts. Dandelion? Irina Reynard's troop, that's all really. Not certain he was friendly with anyone else. Spent dawn till dusk with the troop, on stage or in the crowd. Dusk. So he liked going to the mummings. Yes, I'm actually surprised he didn't come to us after it all happened. He certainly could have counted on the Foxen's help. Hmm. So if these mummers are ready to help... We need only mention Dudu. Irina and company are deeply in debt to <clears throat> Well, that just gave me a headache, guys. I'm trying to wrap my head with what's being said. I mean, she's talking too fast, her accent, and... Uh, Dudu and the mummers... Oh, uh, what's the link? Yeah. Dudu and the mummers, how they meet. That was my doing, some opening night. Maxim lay comatose in his wardrobe, drunk as a notter. I thought of Dudu. Hard to imagine a better actor than a Doppler. And Dudu revealed himself to them just like that? I didn't think it wise to tell anyone. But Dudu and Irina took to each other completely and right away. He fell so hopelessly in love with the theatre. That he started performing with you? Yeah. 
Naravina feels terribly guilty. They let him put himself in danger. She can't forgive herself. Mm -hmm. uh, put on a play that will draw him out. Because he loves the play. As she just said. Maybe we could use a play. You know, work a message to do you into something. Lure him out of hiding that way. Not a bad idea, but I doubt a few lines would suffice. Besides, do you really think Doodoo was away his days attending mummings he knows by heart? She thought he had what, so what twice? You suggest? Lure him twice? We must write an entire new play. From scratch. Something grand. Something that will grab Doodoo's attention. So most Some importantly, problem. it must have a splendid... I, mean, I find myself really having it to read these subtitles. The if you wish, we can start on it right away. Okay, see, and that, that's the difference here, guys. I, I, sometimes I feel like for Skyrim, I should sh shut the subtitles off because I don't have any hard time understanding what they're saying, you know. Uh, sometimes it's kind of good to have it for the idle chatter. Um, I think there's a way that I can do that just to keep it for idle chatter uh, because sometimes you're far away, you can't hear it too well, but... Uh, and I got my headphones on too, but still, you know. Um, but when speaking face to face, like when you're one on one with a with a NPC, kind of like how I'm doing with her, uh, I should turn those off just because I want to focus on the actual NPC, watch them talk, and hear them. Because you know when you're talking to somebody, okay, typically <laughs> when you're talking to somebody, there's no subtitles that pop up in the air. You know, I go out to the store and I'm gonna talk to the cashier. You don't see subtitles. You know, I, you see the person. Uh, but I find myself unconsciously looking at the subtitles. That's why, you know, um, for films, certain films, um, I will keep subtitles on. Uh, I find myself a lot of times I do keep it on, especially because I have to have the volume low when I watch late at night. But um, but some, I, sometimes, you know, when I have it on, I, I find myself reading subtitles and I, I don't really need it, I guess, because I, I lose focus of what's going on on the screen. My eyes are just keyed into the words. Um, and it's, that's also the problem in ESO. I find myself reading the subtitles when I should be, um, or not the words in the bottom, but in ESO, the words are on the side, on the right of the screen while the NPC's there. I, I, I try to focus on the NPC, but I also find myself reading it. You know, I, I mean, it, it doesn't, I don't want to say break immersion, but uh, ESO is not so bad because that's more of, um, uh, I know it may sound strange, but during conversations and all the books and um, and documents that you find, it's very uh, text heavy. But for games like with Skyrim, uh, I, I feel like I should be concentrating more on the NPC just to be more immersed. Okay, but my point is this, with Witcher 3, I find myself that I really should have the subtitles up because I, I try doing it. I even just try doing it now, concentrating on her. But then things are just going over my head. You know, some pronunciations I don't know, and I guess just certain phrases I, I just don't get, and I still have to read it, you know, and try to grasp it. But uh, grasp, you know, what, what they're trying to say to me. Uh, don't know what I can write a play. Don't know that I can write a play. Uh, yeah. Not sure I'm cut out to write a play. Maybe you're better off doing this on your own. It's sure to go quicker if you help me. You'll see. We'll have a grand time together. Okay, so that was simple enough to understand. All right, we can get to work on the play. Okay. All right. Guess we can start writing the play. I can understand you just fine, girl. Actually, I was hoping. The key is to convince Doodoo that he can rely on you and that we wish to free Dandelion. The message okay. must be clear though naturally woven into the play's dramaturgical essence, meaning we need an appropriate dramatic structure. Following along? Okay, I get it. More or less. More or less. That'll do. Now to find the proper expressive form for our content. A gripping, contemporary story, that would be best. Perhaps about the condottieri of Povis. I know. Lorenzo Moller. A tale of a handsome but ruthless bandit, and the Doppler who manages to fool him. But now the Doppler must hide, and can only count on the help of his friend, uh -huh. kind of who's a witch, relaying the kind of who in turn is prepared to do anything to story. save his daughter. No, oh. better. Relevant to what we're trying to do here. Hmm. Like a true-to-life play. What do you think? 
yeah, I, I, I like that. It almost seems as if Gerald is slightly lost like I am, so I don't feel so bad. <laughs> you know, at least if I pick that dialogue option, more or less, right? Uh, I think I get it. She wishes to make a play where it kind of um, hints at what we're trying to do, I guess, or hint at the at the um, our current situation, right? I, I, I like that. Like you said, interwoven into the story. So the only ones that would get the deeper meanings behind the play uh, are the ones who know where to look. You know, it's it's um, unseen by the naked eye. Need something different. No, that's, that's a beautiful idea. Sounds great. What do you think, sir? Lorenzo Mola. Yeah. Mm. Well, perhaps not. Wait, I've got it. We shall stage a story of the Urchin of Erlen. Oh. Secret lovers, their betrothal, a curse, a cruel queen, bell sounding midnight. But at which point he reveals his face. He's a monster, there to steal Princess Pulver. They want him dead, but at that instant, a witcher steps in, and everything ends splendidly. So it's settled, yeah? You wish to say something? Oh boy, you're gonna make me choose. Do I get a say in any of this? Uh, need a good title. Okay, I, I can go with either one, I suppose. It almost felt like the first story had a bit more relevance to our current situation. Uh, I find myself unable to keep my eyes off of Priscilla. I know she's animated, but she is gorgeous. Okay, well, we need a good title. Yeah. We need a good title. Venture to say that's more important than the story itself. I have some ideas. Perhaps you can choose. Gonna consider my opinion this time? Of course. We're partners in this. I'm just in charge. I have two really good ones. The Doppler's Salvation and A Changeling Rescued or The Witch's Triumph. Which do you prefer? The Doppler's Salvation. Okay, I'm gonna assume that a Doppler is like a, uh, what do you call those, um, a doppelganger. Like I remember those from, um, it's that Bard's Tale where they can mimic, um, someone in your group and, uh, you know, it might look like one of the characters you created, someone in your team, but he's really a doppelganger. Uh, and, uh, you know, so you don't know, you know, which is which. Uh, a changeling rescued or the witcher's triumph. Why are those two as one? Shouldn't witcher's triumph, or, uh, unless, is that the full title? A changeling rescued or the witcher's triumph. Or let's go with the Doppler Salvation. Let's go with the Doppler Salvation. It's shorter, uh -huh. catchier. Yeah. yeah. Just one problem. No Dopplers in that story. Just a princess and a cursed urchin. Nothing simpler. We need merely swap the Doppler in for the urchin. The message, that's what's important. A witcher arrives and saves the Doppler. Urchin. Got it? Mm -hmm. All right. Urchin. Okay. So it's a comedy. I was thinking more along dramatic lines. If you prefer something lighter, listen, merely decide and I'll get to work. Drama. Yeah. Mm, you're right. A drama'd be better. Very well. I must get to work. While you must pick a corner, sit down, read silently, or just think. All right? Fine, since you don't need help with the writing. Geralt, wait. A rhyme for Witcher? Uh, did Itcher? Ugh. Did Itcher? Just keep quiet. A few hours later. <sighs> Done. I could make a small masterpiece of this had I a bit more time, but... We're fresh out of that. The hidden message to Dudu. What did you leave in? Hidden message? Did you, you forget about the message? In? Or dawn or that wouldn't be in keeping with the tone of the play, not at all. Oh, no. You wrote it to contact Dudu. That was the purpose. Fine. So how do you see this working? I don't know. I was counting on recognizing him by a scar. Or just improvising. Shall we worry about that later? First, you must take the script to Madame Irina. Okay. Sure you know where to find her? The troop performs in the butcher's yard off the main square. 
join us later. See ya. Okay. Take the script to Irina Renard. Oh, let's see. Witcher, to slay beasts most vile, twas for this I was made. I kill as my calling, not just to get paid. Threatening. Perhaps midst the guests he hides in fear? Suspicious. I see. Seems men's hearts can love for changelings foster, but a heart that is base, such as in his knave aches. No monster is he whose shape can shift. Huh. Okay, sounds good to me. Let me go ahead and save this. Okay, well, I'm thinking I'm going to end it very soon unless I can get into a fight. I was hoping to get, like, some epic fight in. At least we had those bandits to come attack me. Uh, I'll fight at um, you know it, Quick Travel Post. It's cool how there's multiple exits to the building. I like that. Okay, so maybe I'll take it to... Irina. And then oh, it would be good to save it. Oh, I can't just This where Madame Irina's troop performs. Yeah. But you yeah, can only enter with a ticket here. There's no performance now. Mamas are just rehearsing. The process is interesting to observe, though. So, want a ticket? No performance. Said so yourself. You can still get a ticket. What'll it be? <clears throat> can I use my... Uh... Need a ticket? Oh, I can't use my... Uh... Well, let me use my sign. Yeah, 50. Fine. Yeah, one. I forgot what yeah. it was, but the Just stay sign outside, to deceive like, them. Bashful, these the Jedi mind tricks. Right in my arena. Madam Irene, yeah, that's right. Geralt of Rivia. Oh, she's Dandelion's all nice and wet. Us so much about you. Is he with you? No, but I hope to bring him back soon. Here to talk about Dudu. Hmm. Let's speak in my quarters at the back of the theater. We'll be undisturbed there. Sure. I have to remember, I have to stay uh, faithful to uh, Marigold. Triss Marigold. How can I help? We've not seen Dandelion or <coughs> Dudu this <coughs> I'd like to put on a play. Don't have some trouble. I'll say that. Dandelion's in trouble. That much I guessed. Though I am curious how serious it is. Did he seduce a powerful man's wife and go into hiding? Or did he write an offensive couplet about the priests of the eternal fire? Worse. Lots. I'm gonna try to help him. Gotta contact Dudu first. Lots. But he's oh. disappeared as well. Lots worse. I have a plan to lure him out of hiding, but I need your help. Can I count on you? Naturally, but what can we possibly do? I want to stage a play. Something that'll really draw the crowds. I see. And you hope it'll get Dudu's attention as well, draw him here. So it must be an entirely new play? And who will write it? Priscilla, actually. She's done writing it. Tells the story of a witcher who rescues a Doppler from certain death. Yeah, mm. four lines. Sounds interesting. I'll gladly have a glance. But first we must think about getting the word out and organizing some protection. Ushers. Would you mind ushers? attending to these matters? Sure, I can do that. Why the ushers? Uh, how can I help publicize the stage? How can I help you spread the word about the premiere? Well, we'd like all the city to hear about it, so we must clearly okay. talk to the Puffins. Who are the Puffins? Street artists. Get oh. them to announce the premiere, and even the muscles on the harbor ah. piling will hear about it. Free publicity and Where'll I find them? They did occupy some rooms in the bits in a townhouse, but I can't be sure they're still there. 
I've not seen them in the streets lately. They may very well have hung up their body hose. Mm -hmm. See if I can find them, and if they'll work for us. Why the ushers? Think we need ushers. A play about Dopplers could be controversial, but are ushers absolutely necessary? Can't be sure if you've attended many performances, but Novigrad crowds can be particularly difficult. Mm. Ushers are like bodyguards? Tomatoes, eggs, that sort of thing. Axes, I thought ushers were, uh, butchers, knives, and tell you what is said. All right, know anyone appropriate? Try the dogs, perhaps. You're bound to find some men willing to do any work for a few crowns. Hmm. Okay, I think this is a good place Thanks to break. For I'll come back once I found some ushers. See you then. Sure thing. Okay, guys, so I'm not. I know I'm not working on the main quest right now. It's just so much. Where am I? Oh, this is the main quest. Wait, is it? Place a thing. Okay, it's part of the main quest. Okay. Suggested level 11, so I'm surpassed that, so that's good. So next time, we will do these two things. Recruit jugglers from the performing trope called Puffins. Head to the docks and hire ushers for the play. So I'll, I'll try to get this back. Get, get this back, get back to this uh, a bit more sooner than four months, maybe even tomorrow, you know, um, depending upon if I can upload the remaining uh, ones I have of, um, of Klax the Malign from Skyrim. What I'll probably do is upload at least the first part of this so you can, um, you know, get the news at the beginning, what I'm doing here, uh, and then and then depending upon how many parts this gets split up to, I'm thinking only two, uh, then upload the remaining uh, Skyrim and then upload the other half of this, okay? And then by then I should have room because I delete the videos once I'm done. I'll have room to record some more Witcher uh, as well as record some more uh, Skyrim for Klaxim Align to get, you know, get them started on becoming a full-fledged necromancer. Okay, so I'm enjoying this again, guys. Um, so, did I save it? Yeah, game saved. That's it. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, big shout out again to Movie Mike because I know you enjoyed this game, and I apologize for not coming back uh, to this. Uh, but I figured, uh, you know, I, I wanted to get some more Witcher out there, and uh, you know, hopefully, you know, you'll check this out. So. Thank you guys, and if you guys don't already know Movie Mike, if you're watching this, please head on over to his channel. He does Let's Plays himself. He completed Until Dawn, and right now uh, he's in the midst, probably more near the end, of a game called Inside by the creators of Limbo. Hey, you just bumped into me. Okay, so that's it, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, see you guys next time.